everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on Christmas gifts. I'm going to do a Christmas hamper. Um, I will show you all the products that I'm going to put them in just a second. Um, the reason I'm going to do a Christmas hamper is because I think they're a really good idea. They're really personal and thoughtful and something that people will really appreciate. When it's Christmas I love surprises. I, I don't really like telling people what to buy me. I like it being more personal so a hamper is a great idea because you haven't got to ask them what they want you should kind of know and have an idea of every of everything they like so anyway enough of me rambling on I hope you enjoy the video so I'm now having to film this all again because I'll show you in a second but I've got some bath bombs to put in the hamper and I was smelling it and got it all over my nose but I didn't actually realize because I'm trying to make sure I focus on the camera so it was all over the end of my nose and you know when you've got a stinking cold and it's really cold outside and you have that little drip on the end of your nose? That is what it looked like but it was actually the white from the bath bomb and I was going to upload it but I know that someone would have noticed it and I couldn't bring myself to upload it because I thought it was blatantly obvious. So here we are again. So um, the first thing I'd put in a hamper if it's for someone over the age of 18 is a Martini Asti. It doesn't obviously have to be Martini Asti but this is my favourite, cheap and cheerful and tastes amazing. Um, I'm a massive lightweight so um, red wine, white wine, champagne always has to be slightly diluted with me. Um, obviously red wine you can't but white wine and rosé I may have to put a little bit of um, lemonade in. So yeah, this is perfect for me because I don't have to do anything to it, I can just drink away. Next up, some sweeties. I love jelly tots. Jelly tots are my favourite. I picked these up in Poundland and um, they've got loads of different um, choices in there. So get yourself down there and add one of these into the hampers. Hamper wouldn't be a hamper without a candle. I have got one from... Um, Sanctuary, Sanctuary Spa. Anyone that uses these products will know how amazing their stuff is and it literally, I love it. And I can't remember the price, but what I'll do for you is I'll link everything below and find out the prices for you. So I think a really good idea to put in a hamper is makeup. Every girl loves makeup. Um, this is a perfect um, product to put in the hamper. It's a contouring kit from Barry M. Now there's so many contouring kits out there at the moment but they're so expensive and I can't bring myself to spend £30-40 on, on a contouring kit and I picked this up and I think it was about £8.99 is what I want to say um, and I got it with a brush which I can't find, yes I can, it's a contouring and highlighting brush so I bought these as a pair and I think they work brilliantly together so um, half the price of what I would have paid if not more, for um, the other contouring kits out there at the moment. So with a contouring kit, um, I thought I would add a little bit more makeup in, and you know me, I will always add one of these in, a MAC lipstick. I am currently wearing this one at the moment, it's called MAC Red, it's a real festive colour, and I love red lipstick. You will always see me in red lipsticks. If you are someone that doesn't like the bright kind of lipsticks, I have an alternative and it is called Twig. This is a really nice colour again and this looks so nice on. It's kind of a pinky, browny colour, um, but yeah, it looks very natural on. So this is a, a good one if you don't like the bright lipsticks. Now in the winter, our lips always get really chapped and dry. Um, and when you put the lipstick on, sometimes it goes a little bit crumbly because, it, because our lips are dry. So this, it's called Santa's Lip Scrub from Lush. Put this on before you apply the lipstick. All you need to do is just apply it on, rub your lips together, and then you can lick it off. It tastes of Coca-Cola. Oh, it's, I, I love it. It's so, so good. Um, so that's a really good thing to have in there. So use that first, and then you apply your MAC lipsticks. Perfect. Um, you couldn't have a hamper without Lush bath bombs. So this is the Lush bath bomb that caused me all the trouble and caused me to have to uh, film this video again. It's this um, Snow Angel bath bomb. It's really festive, it's all glittery and glitter goes everywhere and I think it will look really nice in the bath. I'm not gonna smell it because it'll be on the end of my nose again. It says a cocoa butter smell. I'm not sure it actually smells of that. It does smell really nice, but I'm not quite sure what the smell is. So next time you go in Lush, have a little smell and let me know what you think it smells of. 
Um, another Lush bath bomb is this really cute Father Christmas one. Now this one is a very clear smell. It's strawberries and cream. It smells amazing. I can't wait to use this one. Um, there's so many nice bath bombs in Lush at the moment, so it was quite hard for me to pick, but I didn't want to get more than two because that's just being very greedy, so I just bought a couple. Um, where are we? So, um, we've got some products from Boots. They are cocoa butter, sugar scrub, uh, sugar, shrub, sugar scrub, and uh, cocoa butter body wash. These come as a set from Boots. Um, and because they've got the three for two at the moment, you can pick these up as well as two other things. So um, you can kind of get um, other presents for other people as well. I was trying to think of the saying, but I can't think of the saying. So yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to say it. Um, a nice little idea is a watch. Now this watch is from Olivia Burton. For those, some of you may or may not have heard of it. They have such lovely watches. Now, everyone's sort of raving about the Michael Kors, um, Marc Jacobs, Larson and Jenin watches, which I absolutely love and I've got um, got some of them. Um, but they are so pricey um, and some people can't afford them or some people just can't bring themselves to pay for them, which is totally fair enough because some of them are quite overpriced. But with these little watches, they are so reasonably priced. I think I picked this one up for £40 from ASOS and ASOS do quite a lot of voucher or discount codes. So I think I got this one with 20% off, so I think it worked out about £32, um, if I'm doing my maths right, which I am, yeah. Um, they're, on their website, they have so many nice ones, so head over, they've, they've got rose gold, they've got silver, they've got gold, they've got leather straps, kind of everything, so go on and have a look, and some of them will be half the price of what you'd pay um, for the other designer watches. Now, my boyfriend bought this for me for my birthday with my Larson and Jenner's watch. It's a really cute little bracelet. Um, it's so dainty, but looks so nice on and goes perfectly with my watch. This is such a cute little idea. Um, they have different color stones um, on their website, so go over and have a look. And it's from Oliver Bonaz. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. I think that's how you pronounce it, because that's how it's read. Um, these I think are around £27, I think they're worth every penny because they go with most things and I wear mine all the time and I've had so many compliments wearing it so yeah that's definitely a must have. Um, a few other ideas, you can put a little cute bobble hat in, um, if I had my hair down I'd put it on but I will look awful if I put it on with my hair up. I got this from Zara and it was £10 and I love wearing this, it keeps you so so warm and this is so soft. and. All my friends love this and a couple of them always want to nick it off me so yeah this is um, a really cute little idea. Um, alongside the hat you can add a scarf, this is a cute little check one. I picked this one up from ASOS, £25, um, it's really soft and I just love the colours, it actually goes really well with the scarf so yeah I love this so that's a really good idea as well. Um, what else do we have? I've got some nail varnishes. Nail varnishes are always really good to add in there um, because every girl loves to have nice fresh nails, she says. Apologies, my nails are absolutely awful. Um, my friend works for um, a company called Nail Harmony and she sent me these and they are so good. I love them. I was wearing this colour um, and it's really nice grey with slight, slight glitter in them. Um, and this is their, a few of is one of their sets actually it comes with I can't actually pick up the fourth one I'm gonna drop them all there we go so it comes as a set so um, you can actually buy them as a set and put them in the hamper I'm not 100% sure how much it costs but what I'll do is again I will link it below but they are called all that jazz and they all have different names which I'm not going to go through but yeah that's a really good idea because every girl loves the nail varnish and they're kind of all different really different colours apart from obviously the pink and the purple but yeah they, they are really different and I love them so yeah just need to go directly on their website for that which again I will link below and I find with this nail varnish as well that I can wear it sort of for a good couple of weeks probably about a week and a half without it chipping whereas some of them are an absolute nightmare and they chip um chip god I can't speak today um they chip within a couple of days and that really annoys me because I really dislike painting my nails at the best of time and when it then chips you I just can't be bothered to do it again so yeah they're a really good little idea um I think that's 
kind of about it. There's a few other things that you can add in. So you can have hair masks, you can have um, gloves, slippers, pajamas, anything like that can also be added in. Um, there is one thing I want to show you, but this won't fit in the hamper. But I saw this the other day. Actually, no, I didn't see it. That's a lie. Um, my friend actually bought it a couple of weeks ago and I fell in love and I had to copy and get it too because it's an absolute bargain and um, every girl will want this. So I wanted to show it to you guys because I think it's a perfect present just as on its own. It is this amazing eyeshadow palette. They've got 144 colours in and just look at them. They are incredible colours. It's from Revolution, which you can buy in um, Superdrug and it cost me 10 pounds. Now I think my friend picked it up in store for eight pounds, but I think that was just an offer for that day. So yeah, 10 pounds for this though, you can't go wrong. And it has every colour you can think of. Um, so yeah, this is a must have. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's given you some ideas if you are planning on doing a, a Christmas hamper as well. Remember to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I do plan on doing another one very soon on Christmas presents. I haven't quite finished my Christmas shopping yet so as soon as I have finished my Christmas shopping I will do another one to show you everything I've bought for people. Um, I hope you've all had a nice weekend and I'll see you all very soon. Thank you. So here are all my goodies. As you can see, they can't fit in that basket. Um, but you have two options. You can either put it in the basket like that and wrap it in cellophane and put um, some nice red ribbon around it and make it all Christmassy. Or you can buy a little bag like that, wrap them all up and put them in there. That cost me 99p and that was from Thingy Me Bobs.